Welcome back to my channel Gamer MW. Today in this video I'm gonna tell you top 5 important tips for increasing the gathering speed and gathering load. So tip number 1 is use a gathering bonus before gathering resources. That means uh, you just click on the base then go to the base buffs and here you can see a gathering bonus. So click on the, that. So I don't have any gathering bonus, so I will show you how to get that gathering bonus. So it is available in the Alliance shop. It is the Alliance shop and here in the item list, here you can see 24 hour gathering speed plus 50 percentage. That means if you use this gathering bonus, for the next 24 hours you will get extra 50 percentage gathering speed so the r5 and r4 should uh, they must uh, buy these items from the item list and they should place that uh, gathering bonus in the shop so anyway you will get gathering bonus from the alliance shop so use that before going for gathering event or something like that just for increasing the gathering speed so now tip number two. Tip number two is uh, parts or armors. So here uh, this building, uh, this is called Bio Armor Workshop. This is used for producing and crafting, uh, you know, armors. So I will show the armor list here. The first one is skeleton. This is extremely or this is exclusively for gathering. Just check it out. Check it uh, all. All just check all these armors. Look at that. Food gathering, load and speed. Fuel gather, uh, fuel gathering, oil gathering, speed and load uh, will be increased. Steel gathering load and steel gathering speed is increased. Rare earth gathering speed and gathering load will be increased. The last one overall gathering speed will be increased and you will get bonus extra resource when you gather that means plus 20 percentage extra resource and uh, the last one gathering march speed plus 50 percentage it's not useful for us anyway gathering speed plus 24 overall gathering speed plus 20 percentage uh, that's the uh, only benefit of that armor okay anyway uh, this skeleton set is highly useful for gathering resources. So for, for getting those skeleton set, you have to produce materials. You have to produce materials here. It, it requires some time. You can spend diamonds or gems for, uh, you know, doing this uh, fastly. And you can check here. You can combine these uh, lower level basic materials. I can combine them to get the next level. Uh, I can combine all. Here is dedicated options for com combining these uh, parts. So again, I can uh, uh, combine all these, uh, um, you know, materials to get the next quality. It is locked here because I have to research some technologies for unlocking this particular function. So I can combine these uh, and I will get higher quality and I will reach legendary quality and if you want uh, lower buffs, if you want full, you know, if you want full uh, buffs that I shown in the armor list, then you have to go for legendary materials, then only you will get legendary parts. So you can uh, get these uh, parts or chest boxes through you know by exchanging these type of coins and you will get them through infinite challenges and uh, um, uh, killing zombies <coughs> and in the armor or uh, in the material section here sorry I will I will uh, try to teach you how to craft armors so here you you go there and um, click on the details and here the manufacturer unknown and manufacturer now okay. everything is unknown because 
I have to research some technologies for unlocking them. Anyway, I will show that too. Okay, now I will show a brief introduction for this. Just look at that. You need uh, these uh, materials here. So you have to produce all these materials and after that you have to combine them to get higher quality. Then you have to place them here and you can craft the material. That's very simple. Well, actually the manufacturer is unknown because uh, there is no the you know these uh, parts sorry these materials are uh, not yet produced in my base so I have to produce them then only he, the manufacturing option will become you know uh, available for me so anyway you have to produce all these materials and combine them to get the higher quality then place them here and craft the material by using energy core I will show that thing you need this particular thing this uh, this what, what is it? it's called uh, I will show that energy core uh, the real name is uh, one minute guys sorry this one energy battery so you need energy battery for crafting the armors so that is tip number two so actually uh, if you have the armor set then you are extremely powerful in the gathering section that means you can gather whatever you want your gathering load and speed will become more and more and more so it is very useful for you if you have that armor set and now tip number three that is use tier one troops for gathering that means uh, level 1 troops because I will show that we can check a level 1 tank and the load is 15 so the load of level 1 tank is 15 but the load of level uh, level 4 or level 5 load of level 5 tank is 12 did you see this so you have to use level 1 for gathering and level 5 for attacking. That's the idea. Higher level troops are not for gathering. They are for attacking someone. So it is it is your power. So level 1 troop is for gathering. It is more safe to. No one will attack your gathering troops. Because it is just level 1. There is no point for that. So anyway. Level 1 troops will gather more resources because it have more load capacity so that's tip number three and now tip number four that is technologies here there are a lot of technologies for improving the gathering speed and gathering uh, load so first one is here look at that increase food gathering speed 30 percentage uh, rare earth uh, gathering speed 30 percentage uh, steel gathering speed 30 percent etc etc and now <coughs> for each Q for each class Q and uh, for each uh, Q 1 2 3 etc etc you have some dedicated technologies for gathering here you can see the second one is increase class Q gathering speed 25 percent and here incre increase the load 20 percent so this is uh, same in all the technologies for all the queues look here gathering speed and gathering gathering load and here gathering speed and gathering load so these technologies are highly useful for you and all the same time uh, sorry not this one this one i think sorry i think this one okay here uh, this helico helicopter have some unique skills for improving the load look here it it will increase the load capacity and so these are the main technologies for improving the gathering speed and gathering resources and also you will get extra extra resources and uh, look here in the compact owner technology here Increase gathering speed in zone showdown. This is only ap applicable in zone showdown gathering day. That is Monday. 
so this will improve the gathering speed to 50 percentage oh my god so it will increase the gathering speed up to 50 percentage in monday and this will give you extra 20 percentage extra resources in monday so these two technologies technologies are very very useful in gathering event so now tip number five that is uh, your heroes what i mean is if you have better heroes and better queue that means if you unlock all the three heroes or two heroes in your queue then you can add more troops into your queue more troops means more load capacity so the troops can uh, gather more resources so improve the troop capacity sorry improve the uh, improve the uh, troop capacity of your queue to get to get more resources through gathering that means it will increase the total load capacity and that then you can you know improve the gathering speed so i will say one more tip it is uh, not appli applicable for every class but this is only for uh, farmer class you have a dedicated building called quarter master office so here when we click on the details we can clearly see the gathering speed will be increased when we upgrade that building the gathering load will be increased when we upgrade that building so there are many uses for this building so these are the main tips for improving the gathering speed and resources thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the new videos I'm an experienced guy in last shelter survival game. This game is a copy of that game. So I know almost everything regarding this game. So that's why I just decided to start this channel. So thank you for watching it and please share and subscribe right now. Thank you.